Before I get started, I wanted to thank Audible for supporting creators like me. Go to audible.com slash pearflare or text pearflare to 500-500 to get an exclusive 30-day free trial and a book of your choice for free. Audible is a great app with a huge selection of audiobooks and exclusive audio shows. This time, I recommend the book Charlotte by David Fokinus, which tells the life of one of my favorite artists, Charlotte Solomon, a young Jewish painter living in Berlin during World War II. See the description box to learn how to get started with Audible today. So although a lot of the colors I choose for my pieces fall on intuition, sometimes when I want to feel more inspired or experiment with the color scheme of a piece, I like to look at movies and films to get the gears going. It's not a secret that color choices can influence us on an emotional, psychological, and sometimes physical level. Color has a power to change the atmosphere and mood of a scene. It can compose tension or convey peace. Discordant colors can draw attention to a specific detail or subject of a scene, usually implying a greater message. Colors in films can strategically be played at different points of a movie to create connections and relationships from different scenes to convey a larger theme within the film. Sometimes color can not only be used to set up the overall tone of the movie, but it can also be used to shift the entire tone to its opposite. There are already a ton of different color palettes that have been analyzed by others from a huge range of movies on sources like Pinterest and Tumblr. However, if you would like to make your own, it can be easily done in Photoshop or Illustrator. Another amazing tool that you can use is a website called Adobe Color. You can just drop a picture in and, and it'll automatically create a color palette for you. You can also use the custom color palette tool to experiment with different color schemes and learn more about color theory. Whenever I feel lost on a piece, I always like to look at how films and movies use color to convey a story. It's also a great entertaining method that can help you build and develop your sense of color. The one piece of advice I would give with this learning method would be to be careful of having the color palette of the work that you chose to control your piece. If you find that the colors you are leaning towards start to stray away from the original palette, go with your guts and do it your own way.
Color could generically be divided into three characteristics, hue, saturation, and value. How a scene illustrates itself with different levels of these three components can elicit a deeper understanding of the movie itself. Different color palettes can include a monochromatic scheme, where the whole scene is all one tone or one color, complementary, where two colors on the opposite sides of the color wheel is used, Analogous, where colors sitting next to each other on the color wheel can come together to create a specific mood. I find that Wes Anderson does this really well in his movie, Fantastic Mr. Fox. Or triadic colors, where three colors spaced evenly on the color wheel are used. There are a ton of different color harmonies out there like split complementary, tetradic, or square. I'll leave sources down in the description box below if you want to learn more about these different color theories. So thank you so much for watching, I really hope this helped. Remember to subscribe and turn on notifications to be alerted whenever I post a new video. Follow me on Instagram at Pearflare for behind the scenes posts and exclusive artwork. For this video, I live streamed the sketch that I used to create this piece. That's it for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!